My neighbors think I'm crazy. <laughs> Talking to yourself? Oh, all the time, yeah. Kind of an interesting view. So I'm driving over to see Captain Kleeman. Gonna be working on fixing these ship's wheel. Just about made it. Come over from Princeton and here it is. I'm at the world famous Derby Market. Check this place out. Some of you may know what this is. I'm here in the YouTube yacht. With Captain Kleeman. Today, our project is to fix that wheel. So, I'm going to set you up here and then we'll get started. Still makes me smile even though I know what it is. Yeah. You know what? <clears throat> Let's keep them handles. Okay. We might turn those into like a hat rack or a coat hanger. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, now you're thinking. That's <laughs> fine. Okay, if you want to hold that baby up, I'll get this box out from under it. for damage. Ooh, I didn't bring my little saw. I thought they broke off clean. They didn't, did they? I don't think I picked that saw up. Anyway. Oh. Yep, we'll get out some tools. Well, if you don't mind helping me here. I'm going to take this uh, drill template here. I'm going to put it over that little stub sticking out there and see if we can clamp it in place. It's got a little bit of movement, but if you want to... I'm assuming the tape goes on the finish, yeah? Yep, yeah, tape okay. goes on the finish. And here, let's hold this here. Let me hold this here. Gotcha. All right, we need to crank it in a little bit. You know how to do that? Grab them handles. Does it matter which one you do first? No, grab both. Spin it. Well, not too much, it goes fast. <laughs> All right. I've never used these clamps. Okay. Oh. All right, try to get them parallel. Let's keep this parallel here. Okay. All right, now, go ahead and, there you go. Am I doing that, huh? I think it's getting close. Well, you don't turn them both, there. There you go, okay. You can't go in the same direction with them. You gotta go in opposite directions. Okay. There you go. All right. <laughs> huh? Ain't no thing, is it? All right, let me make sure we're square. I think maybe we'll pound it over this way just a touch. Okay. And then, whoops, I always go backwards.
So you can't move in the same direction because if you do, it just it just yeah, it's yeah. either old, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got yeah, they're it, either yeah. getting bigger or smaller. Yeah. And what you want to do is you want to take and you want to make the tip of them go together. Yeah. So you pull this one out while this one goes pulls it in and Pitches that closes it, it. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, ain't rocket science, but it's a different science. <laughs> okay. And we got none of that on camera, but we're good. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> the frustrations of YouTube. That's okay. We got to do another one. So let's go ahead and see if we can drill that. I'd prefer if we can. This is going to take quite a bit of pressure. So let's take this and move this over toward this edge where you can steady the bottom there and keep it from sliding. Just. Yeah, is this good and solid where it won't tip? Mm. All right. So I'm going to try and drill through this and see if the plan comes together. Yeah. Remembered everything but a sharp bit. Work thing. That may or may not have it. See how deep we went. Oh yeah, we're clear down to the tenon of the spoke. Okay, so let's go ahead and drill the next one while we're at it. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Not exactly perfectly centered, but it does look straight. If you look down through there, you'll see that the center spot on the tenon coming up there is right in the center yeah. of the hole, so we're pretty yeah. close to alignment. This may be a little large. Yeah. Most of it, yeah. Uh, it ain't deep enough. Huh. So I made the tenons a little longer on these, obviously. But that's not a problem. We have saws. Somewhere, right? Somewhere. I got okay. a chainsaw for sure. Let's do that one first. Okay. The chainsaw will work. <laughs> Doesn't all this wood start out uh, being processed with a chainsaw? Well, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. You want to put the first clamp on. Yeah, hold on. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, screw the top one out. Go down deeper with this. Okay, now. Alright, let me get a look at it. Okay, one more time.
That was dumb. This is thicker than a tin and I wasn't checking nothing. So last hole. One thing I like about these clamps are they're pretty universal. They adapt themselves to different angles real simply and easily. And on top of that, I got a whole bunch of them at a yard sale. <laughs> you can't beat that. Uh, okay, let's get this last one drilled and then we can see what we can do about putting them handles in. As you know, that's it. Let's see what we got. Uh, yep, it's a hole. That's good. <laughs> okay. So, all right, we're going to have to uh, make the tenons a little too long. We're going to have to whack those off and then we can put them in. We took those handles up to Captain's shop and we found a wood saw up there. Cut the tenons off to the length that we needed. Brought them back down to the boat. Found out that uh, they were all pretty loose in the hole. So what I had was I had tight bond original glue and it was an old enough bottle that it had some body to it. It wasn't, wasn't just total liquid. But I was really a little bit nervous that it might not be tight enough in the hole. So what I did is I took a little piece of cardboard and uh, peeled it off of there. Then I uh, put a coat of glue on the tenon, wrapped that piece of cardboard around there, uh, then coated the outside of it with another coat of glue. Now, uh, if this was going to be something where it was going to have a lot of weight, a lot of pressure put against it. Cardboard wouldn't have been the best thing to fill that with, but I got a really good coat on each side of that, so it, it soaked through the cardboard. And that layer that's between that tenon and that wheel uh, held that glue, swelled up, and filled it, and they went in really, really tight. So I feel pretty confident that uh, they're going to hold. But at any rate, got all three of those put in there. Okay, so well, we got these uh, jammed in there, got a little glue on them. Got one, two, whoops, one, two, three, over there. Gonna have to let it dry a little bit before we move it. And uh, then he can pack it up and uh, uh, I'm out of here. Captain, I appreciate you allowing me to come in here and get this done. And I promised everyone I'd do this. I got to touch the YouTube yarn. You see that? <laughs> My life is complete. This is the YouTube Yacht Road. And we're taking it. To the lake. There's the infamous 755. This is awesome. What are you going to call this, Captain? I don't know. I don't know. Can't be like YouTube. <laughs> no. I don't know what we're going to call it. We'll have to have a, a name competition or something. Hmm. Have you skipped a rock in it yet? Nope. We haven't even swam in it yet. I'll tell you what, how about if we inaugurate it with some rock skipping? Oh, we can do that. Hold on, I brought them. <laughs> okay. And I'll grab one. Look how high, <clears throat> this is gonna have to be pretty accurate throw. Oh no, no. Are you like a pro rock skipper? No, <laughs> but I've got grandsons, so I have, I have practiced. So, okay. okay. 
the inaugural rock skip. Well, that wasn't very good at all. <laughs> that one might have been. All right, let's see if I can figure this out. I'm just glad I hit the water. I don't know. That was just one skip. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, in this elevation. Your turn. All right, we'll give it a shot. Does it Help count if it you hit the water first? It's still skipped. Ah, it's a skip. It's a skip. <laughs> <It's still> skip. <laughs> so what are we looking at, Mike? Well, these are logs, Dave. <laughs> so these are the. This was the original log cabin on this ridge. It is about 200 yards that way. Okay. And when they developed the houses up here, the developer took all these logs down. He actually did tag them. They all have numbers. 13.8 or B8. I'm assuming he had the. Or maybe it's BO. BO could. <laughs> no? <laughs> could be. But uh, unfortunately, what had happened was the people that bought this from him before he could build the cabin, uh -huh. they ended up splitting ways. And this thing sat, the property sat in legal issues for several years, and these mm -hmm. logs sat in a pile over there mm -hmm. in contact uncovered. And they have rotten down quite a bit. So, what are you thinking? Well,. I'm just gonna let them dry for a while and then see if there's anything we could salvage out of these to make an accent wall uh, whenever we build a cabin over there. I don't think we can use them for structure, obviously, but I mean, it was, it was the first cabin on this ridge, first homestead on this ridge. Really? And it just, it would feel wrong to not appreciate that history a little bit, you know? Somehow, yeah. Well, you know, a couple things is if the timber's not any good, you can take an end like this and you can turn that into a corbel to hold a mantle on your fireplace. Oh yeah. That's something. Yeah. Another thing is you can put a lintel over an interior door, put stone around it if you don't have yeah. enough logs to put up. Yeah. Or over the top of a window, you could use them for like a lintel. And it may be possible to get you a short wall. You know, you have several of them that are in this five to six foot range. Yeah, yeah. And is that the cross, some cross pieces over there? Yes. And you may be able to nest enough of those cross pieces right there into these cuts here and actually do a terminal wall that disappears back into your uh, masonry at the edge of your fireplace or something. That'd be pretty cool. It'd, it'd be cool to show off, show off these joints. Uh-huh. Uh, you did a little cut in here and it's good solid wood. It is. This yeah. happens to be white oak. How can you tell that? That's white oak. You just look at the grain, that's white oak. Yeah, so. Uh, I mean, it's not bad under there. I, I don't know if you could take a draw knife to get that off or what. Or, uh, leave it and uh, just take a brush, clean everything off of it that comes off of it easy, not a real aggressive brush like a steel brush or something, but a, a good hard uh, bristle brush and uh, clean that off and then, then get you a, uh, uh, a low sheen, perhaps a, a flat polyurethane. Yeah. Thin it so it soaks into the wood yeah. And it'll freeze all that outside on there and it'll never crumble off and it won't uh, get your house dirty. Okay. Uh, and then you can have that natural wood look if you want it to. Kind of save some of the story behind it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's That'd be pretty cool. lots of options. But you have plenty here to work with to come up with something. I think so. Yeah. Well, we got them glued. They feel like they're solid. About four hours, they'll be totally set up. The glue should be cured. It's good enough, I think we can move it. So we're gonna pack this up and I'm gonna give it back to Mike so he can put it up. Well, yeah. We gotta build some more of this before we put it up, put it up though. Yeah, but I was thinking put it up for storage. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. 
I guess next time you and I get together on this, uh, we're going to be hanging it, right? Well, probably sometime in between there, though. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Well, that does it. So, we really forgot to take an after shot of this. Uh, we wanted to really get it packed up and get it covered up and get it... Uh, out of the woods and back into some place where it didn't get damaged too much. So I'll tell you what, I have a uh, video clip that's like a little flyover that shows the details on how the uh, wheel looked whenever I originally finished it. I'll just put that in here at the end and you can uh, get a look at that. So I knocked several things off my bucket list. Got to repair the wheel, see the pond, see the bridge, walked over the bridge, almost fell off the bridge, and uh, touch the YouTube yacht. But mostly, I appreciate the fact that I got to meet you, Captain, and I do appreciate your hospitality. Thanks. If you have the time, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a comment and poke that like button.